Hello students, today we are going to discuss class 9 and COD science, chapter 12, sound. So before we start sound, we need to know about wave. What is wave? What is wave? So wave is a disturbance which is caused in any medium or may not be in a medium and that helps in transporting energy from one location to the other location. The waves can be of various types and basically we are going to discuss on two types that is Lange, Tudinum and Transverse Wave. So Lange is very and Transverse Wave. In these two particular waves, there is a basic difference that in the visual waves, the particles of the medium vibrate in the direction of the wave propagation. Whereas in transverse wave, the particles of the medium do not vibrate along the direction of the wave propagation, rather they will vibrate perpendicular to the propagation of the wave. But today we are going to discuss about sound. So everybody is familiar with sound. I am talking here. You're listening that is an example of sound and uh, sound helps in communicating and in science we are going to discuss sound and basically we need two things that is a source a source which will create the sound and a detector which will detect the sound so basically two types one the source from where the sound will be produced and detector where the sound will be taken because without detector you cannot define it is a sound or where because we have ears and we are act as detectors so thus I am giving an example of the source of sound so this is the source of sound now I am going to switch it on yeah properties of sound Properties of sound. So generally, sound is a lungy tunnel wave. It is also a mechanical wave. And also sometimes it is known as elastic wave. We are going to discuss why sound is a logical wave, why it is a mechanical wave or also known as elastic wave. It is known as mechanical wave because it expands some energy. That means energy is being wasted when a sound travels from a distance to another distance. That is why as you come closer to a source, you get the sound, you listen or you hear the sound very clearly louder. But as soon as you move away from the sound, the sound fades. It is because this sound by traveling some distances lose some energy and finally this energy is being distributed to the surroundings, to the medium. So it is known as a mechanical wave since some sort of work is done while transporting this sound from one part to the other. It is also known as elastic wave and longitudinal wave because the particles of the mediums are set into vibrate in two and four flow motion because these particles when move to and fro, they again come back to its original place and thereby transferring the energy to these neighboring particles and in this way the sound travels and that particular how the sound propagates we are going to discuss in the next part. So it is a longitudinal, mechanical and elastic wave and that's all about the property of sound. Next we are going to discuss how sound propagates. How sound propagates. That means how the sound travel distance. What mechanism actually takes place while a sound is being transported from one region to the other. So we are going to learn this here. So let us take a source. Which will create some kind of sound and say this particular reason is medium air and here is a detect detector now 
when this sound is being produced by this source now before i'm explaining how the sound propagates uh, we are just considering this particular medium to be air so let us also draw the particles of the air say these are the particles of air there are the particles of air are normally moving they are colliding each other but for your understanding i'm drawing a uniform particles in a uniform manner so this when the sound is being produced by this source this part particular sound vibration hit these particles and this particle will get displaced from its mean position say this is the mean position this particle will come closer to this particle say for some instant okay similarly this will be heated by this particle and this particle will go and hit these particles again this particle the energy is being transferred to this particle and this particle will go and hit this particle and finally this particle will again go and hit the detector and the detector will detect it as a sound so while the vibrations hit the particles of the medium you can see there is the instant when the particles get closer that means a reason reason of high pressure is being produced whereas a reason of reason of low pressure is also formed in case of longitudinal wave that is in case of propagation of a longitudinal wave from a source to a detector through a medium through a medium so this particular high pressure region that means where the particles collide and become densely populated you can see here densely populated this particular region is densely populated that particular region is known as high pressure and it is known as region of region of compression and this particular region where at the instant the particles go to collide and become a free space where the particles are very less populated that particular region is known as region of rare faction region of rare faction so region of compression is the region where the particles of the medium are densely populated and it is also known as high pressure region and region of rare faction is the region in a medium where the particles are very lessly populated and the pressure is very low and that particular region is known as region of rare faction thus the sound propagates in a medium by following this rule that is formation of high region of compression and formation of region of rare faction and this particular formation will go and will fall on the detector and the detector can detect it as a sound now why it is called a longitudinal wave it is called a longitudinal wave because see these particles are the sound is traveling from this particular source to the detector and these particles are also vibrating in this direction whereas after hitting this particle this particle again come back to its original position that means these particles vibrate to and forward which will be further explained by the experiment of pendulum on uh, my upcoming videos thank you